Powerful galactic beings, welcome back to another video. Has anyone ever called you an old soul? You likely received the gift from your ancestors. Rather, do you feel like you have a sixth sense? This feeling is an intuitive nature or a sign of being spiritually gifted. Sometimes, people experience feelings that they find hard to fathom. What if something supernatural is trying to communicate with you? Divine intervention is something you might experience frequently. You might believe it is a sensation out of this world, but what if you are spiritually gifted? So, what happens if you are spiritually gifted? If you feel that something strongly connects you to the spiritual world, you might consider exploring further. Remember, the longer you escape your spiritual awakening, the harder your life might be. Kindly stick around as we explore signs of spiritual gifts. This video will explore and dig deeper into 10 of them. Here are the 10 unique signs that you are spiritually gifted. As a newcomer to the spiritual realm, it is normal for you to feel confused. Certain things might happen to you if you have an intuitive side. Well, let's dig in. Number 1. You see visions. Have you ever found yourself daydreaming? In the spiritual realm, we call this a vision. In other words, visions are dreams you have when you are wide awake. Spiritual gifts will sometimes manifest themselves in this way. In addition, a vision could be something that pops into your mind and makes you feel uncomfortable. Often, it will trigger your spiritual sense to become alert. For example, you might see something that will happen shortly. Do visions make you a foreseer? Let us find out. One of the things you can envision is an accident. It could be you are alone or with a loved one. In this case, the spiritual realm communicates to you through these premonitions. They appear to you as short films that keep replaying in your mind. The beauty of these visions is that they act as a warning sign for you. Visions help a spiritually gifted person mitigate or avoid danger. So, it might be foreseen, right? Number 2. Realistic Dreams I am certain everyone has had a dream at least once. But do you dream a lot at night? Dreams are not things that we randomly see in our sleep. They are another way for us to connect with the spiritual realm. Spiritual vulnerability is at its best when we are asleep. While asleep, it is easy for the spiritual world to communicate with you through dreams. That is why spiritual and religious leaders encourage you to pray before bedtime. Once, a person had a reoccurring dream that her father was dying. She could vividly see the events leading to his death. The events in the dream were so realistic that she was afraid. On waking up, she received a call that her father was no more. Was the spiritual world trying to warn her of these events? Or is her sixth sense so strong that she felt her father's spirit leaving the world? It means she is spiritually gifted and manifests in her life through vivid dreams. Sometimes, the events of your dreams will not occur as they directly appear. However, dreams are always open to interpretation. There is always a hidden meaning behind some dreams. Remember the Pharaoh's dream about the fat and thin cows? That is a perfect example. If you get dreams whose messages are unclear or disturbing for you, remember to write them down. Investigate their meaning, the spiritual world could warn you of events that will happen later in life. Number 3. You find yourself awake during the spiritual hour. Do you find yourself awake between 3 a.m. and 4 a.m.? It is a sign that you are spiritually gifted. This spiritual hour is an hour at which most spiritual manifestations take place. If you keep waking up during this hour, you might consider investigating what the spiritual world is trying to communicate. By coincidence, you are not awake at this time and neither are you having sleeping disorders. It only means that you are spiritually gifted and capable of receiving a message from the spirit world. What do you need to do then? It would be best if you learned how to receive these messages. Sit up and concentrate, you might receive vital information at this hour. When they find themselves awake during this hour, other people choose to pray and fight their spiritual battles. It is said to be the most effective time to pray. Number 4. Too much of a coincidence. 
Too much of a coincidence is known as synchronicity. It is normal for a spiritually gifted person to experience this occurrence. Synchronicity is believed to go beyond death. Have you had dreams, visions or constant thoughts about a person? Sometimes you might think of them and coincidentally bump into them. Sometimes, it could be the spiritual world telling you to reach out to such a person to help. Perhaps, when she received the dream, it was a sign from the spirit for her to make peace with him. Therefore, if you experience this thought about a friend with whom you had a rough ending, you might consider making amends with them. Number 5. Guiding Voices. Can you hear voices that no one else can hear? This voice is a sign that you are spiritually gifted, and you should listen to the message they are communicating to you. On other occasions, you might ask someone a question and seem to know the answer they are going to give. It is not that you have studied this person so perfectly, your spiritual sense is working at its best. The voices pop up in your mind from nowhere, speak to your heart or even audibly speak to you. The latter might seem scary to you. Regardless of this, be open to receiving what they are saying. They are voices from the spiritual world sent to guide and help you in your endeavors. Number 6. Random Emotional Outbursts. If you experience random emotions that are too frightening, you might want to check on your friends and loved ones. One might be in danger, and the spirit tries to guide you to intercede for and save them. Number 7. Horrific Night Terrors. Nightmares are common among young children. However, experts argue that children experience these terrors because they are more sensitive to the spiritual world. It is because they are natural empaths and easy recipients of night terrors. Are you aware of the Delta and Theta state? Delta and Theta is a state where a spiritually gifted adult sees things that manifest beyond the normal scope. This state allows the spiritually gifted person to receive messages directly and vividly. If you are experiencing nightmares, the spirit has been trying to communicate but not getting your attention. If all other means fail, you will then experience horrific night terrors. Remember, just like a child does anything to get your attention, the spirit world will go over and beyond to communicate with you. Having a terror and waking up in a panic is not an exception, the massage must reach you. Number 8. Tingling Sensations. Do you ever feel so excited when someone tells you something? Do you feel like you want to dance and jump with glee? You are also likely to feel tingling when someone tells you something amazing. Some people describe the feeling as magical or miraculous. It is a connection to your spiritual gift. These tingling sensations occur when your dimension is opening to allow the light of the divine to flow through. Number 9. Feeling pressure around the third eye. In one of our previous videos, we discussed the third eye. Therefore, we know it is located between your eyebrows. Have you ever felt any pressure in this area? Like is someone gently applying pressure there? Divine interpreters say that spiritual people are likely to feel the pressure on the third eye when they receive a message. In addition, others say that they can see another person's chakra colors whenever they open their third eye. Through some spiritual exercises and meditation, you can open your third eye gradually. Your third eye opens the passage to the spiritual realm, where you will receive discernment and messages. Therefore, if you feel this pressure, you are spiritually gifted and should be ready to be spiritually impactful. Number 10. Gift of Discernment. A person with the gift of discernment can sense energies in a room that others cannot see. They can sense these energies in a spiritual dimension. For instance, people with the gift of discernment can tell there is an evil entity immediately after it enters a room. The spirit guides you through different feelings to acknowledge these entities. While others sense the presence, you may visually see it. Generally, as you grow and mature in your spiritual calling, you will soon take charge of your spiritual gifts. While at this, most are connected to your third eye, which is the door to the spiritual realm. Therefore, you must learn to close your third eye and relax for a while. All these events come with time and practice. However, be patient with your spiritual gift. Slowly but surely, you will take charge of your gift and learn to manifest it in your physical energy. With that said, how can you stay spiritually gifted and lead a spiritually led lifestyle? Let us find out below. Keeping connected to your soul, 
How to stay spiritually gifted. Do you think your sixth sense is alert? Have you experienced visions that manifested in your life later? Do people call you as an old soul? Do you experience things that others cannot relate to you? These are your spiritual gifts. You can consciously welcome the spiritual dimensions or push them away. You only need to identify your spiritual gift. The spirit is very assertive and direct when they want to convey a point. Keep connected to yourself not to miss these messages. Being spiritually gifted means, you have a chance to manifest spiritual warnings on the physical life of others. You could be their channel into safety in times of danger. Since they cannot sense the danger as you do, you can grow your abilities. Remember to strengthen your third eye, as you must use it often. The muscle allows you to connect to your soul and redirect to aligns with your spiritual gifts. You can enhance these abilities and learn to channel the spirit for your aid. For example, you can channel the spirit to protect yourself and your loved ones from evil if you receive discernment. Similarly, you can revoke the occurrence of a bad situation. First, you must acknowledge that you have a spiritual gift. Secondly, work on ways to improve your ability so it can intensify. Lastly, reconnect to your inner self. That is where your spiritual gift resides. I hope this video was really helpful. See you in the next video. Peace, love and life.